electing its new leadership. Uh, for more on this, we now cross to our reporter, Ntakwa Nangatane, who's been watching proceedings there for us. Uh, very good afternoon to you, uh, Ntakwa. Now, we didn't know whether this uh, election would actually take place, but it's happened, and we have new leaders. Well, not quite new, Peter, but um, the president who was the president who just stepped down before the election has won another term, and that is uh, Roger Ngododang from Cameroon, uh, representing uh, the Central Regional. You'll remember that when we spoke to you earlier, Peter, we had said there were members of parliament who were against him running again, saying that this would mean the Central Region would get a third term of the presidency of this 14-year parliament. But um, there it is. He got 133 votes of the 224 votes that were cast. He required 113, so he surpassed that mark, the 50% plus one. So he defeated the South and the North. These were the regions that some of the MPs were saying at least should at least get uh, this presidency because they have not been uh, the president of the Pan-African Parliament since it started in 2004. Peter? So with all of those concerns that uh, happened just before, the tabling of the report, this rotation issue, has he said anything uh, in his, uh, I suppose he's spoken now, acceptance speech about how he's going to bring the Pan-African Parliament back together again and try and unify uh, all the regions? Well, Peter, it's a two-way thing, I think, if you look at it, because uh, the fact that he's coming back means that now he can be held accountable for all of the uh, issues that the MPs were saying he should be held accountable for, the presenting of that report that he wasn't able to, even though um, the mainly Francophone side of this Pan-African Parliament took to his defense when the demands were made for him to present that report. So I guess uh, the silver lining there, him returning, is that he'll be able to present that report. But of course, uh, it's a loss for rotation, the rotation that many members were saying is a principle, not only of this Pan-African Parliament, but a principle of the African Union that is done on a yearly basis at the mother body, and that they were hoping that he would listen, but obviously he did not withdraw. So a, a two-pronged uh, result, if you like. But I guess we have to wait and see what happens from here onwards. And, uh, of course, we have to hear from those members of parliament uh, who had said that they would not want this election to go ahead without the accountability happening and without him stepping aside. Julius Malema, Chief Manda Mandela from South Africa, uh, Musta, uh, uh, um, uh, Mubarak uh, from Muntaka Mubarak from Ghana were some of the most vocal MPs who were saying that without that accountability report, this election will not go on. So we will speak to them and find out, because I saw them going down to vote and find out what uh, their next move is or why it is that they decided to vote, even though they had not intended to, uh, to do that before the election. Peter? And Takwana, were there any other positions that uh, were being uh, up for grabs or uh, up for election at all, or is it just the position of the president? Well, there are four positions of vice president, um, and right now what we are hearing now are the candidates who are now wanting to be elected to those positions, and we have heard some members of this parliament saying that the issue of gender must now come into play, because, I mean, you saw that with the vote for the presidency, there was no way that there was going to be any gender favor, because all the three candidates were male, but they are now saying, uh, some members of this parliament, that because there are uh, candidates who come from other regions who are now vying for the vice presidency, who are women or female, that maybe they should be considered to balance uh, the need uh, for gender parity in this parliament. So uh, the, vote, the positions, the four positions of vice president are now um, going to be contested, and um, I guess because this took us about... Uh, uh, two hours to get through. We'll see how long uh, 
the, the voting for the four positions of vice president will take. Peter? All right, and Tagwana, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. That's uh, our reporter, and Tagwana Ngatane, who's at the Pan-African Parliament there, where she's just announced that the new, not so new, but re-elected president, uh, the Honorable Roger Nkodo Dang, uh, takes his seat again, winning 133 of the 224 votes available. Uh, so that gives him another, third, another term and a third term for the central region. And now uh, they're in the process of uh, electing the vice presidents and I think each one comes from uh, one of the regions on the continent.